decision that will affect about 3,400 students. All APS middle school sports axed because of an anticipated budget shortfall. Today, the outrage from parents and kids is growing, as is their demand for answers from APS. It's a terrible situation. It's painful, and kids live for some of this stuff. We know that. But if you don't have the money, you don't have the money. APS spokesperson Monica Armentha says the decision to cut middle school sports will save the district $580,000. That money for coaching stipends, transportation, referees, and other expenses. She says it's just one way they're meeting an expected $25 million shortfall. If it wasn't middle school sports, it might have been AP classes, it could have been any number of things. None of them are going to please anyone. It would, the groups that are unhappy would just change. Kids and parents are upset. Heartbreaking. I do understand that classroom instruction needs to come first, and I am no expert on the budget, but that's... Um, Sports is just such a vital part of, of so many lessons that are important that can't be taught in the classroom. Many parents are asking why the cuts aren't coming from the top, asking why the superintendent, who makes about $250,000 a year, and her higher-ups don't take a cut. According to PED, there are 35 administrators who make six figures, amounting to $4 million a year. APS's response? And the administrative offices are taking a 10% cut again. We've already, as administrators, taken one furlough day and more will be coming. APS officials say they still need to be able to pay for the basics needed to run a district. They point to Santa Fe. We've heard you at Albuquerque Public Schools. We're not the place to really um, talk with because we're with you. We're just dealing with the hand we were dealt. It's at the state level. It's really disappointing that they would make such a reckless decision. The governor says there is money. It's just how APS is choosing to spend it. Their priorities are distorted. We need to make decisions in putting our kids first, especially when they are going, their savings is about five hundred to $750,000. When they're paying out a million dollars on PIOs, on uh, public uh, relations specialists and on lobbyists, a uh, million dollars. She also claims APS isn't being honest with the public. They don't have to do this. This is something that they're just, it's a political game, they're just um, you know, misinforming people. Now, APS officials dispute the governor's claims that they have any extra money on hand to spend. The governor says they know about this money because APS has to report it to the state. Now, middle school sports was not the only program to be cut. The district is looking to reduce spending on the gifted program, increase class sizes, and reduce days worked for contract employees, which is basically a pay cut.